Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie, I'm an aspiring pelvic floor physical therapist. I'm currently in PT school. And today we're gonna get to know the vulva. Yes, you heard that right. You're gonna hear me talk about many taboo topics and it's all educational. So if you have female anatomy, then this is, this is for you. Even if you don't, it's a great educational piece. But I think so many of us who have female anatomy probably have not really looked at, looked at ourselves. Maybe not since we have learned to put a tampon in. I know for me, like that was a really scarring time in my life because no one really ever explains to you um, like what it is like you're doing. You might've seen pictures briefly in, you know, a health class, but you know, you're never really taught to talk about these things. So I remember when I was learning and the first time I like came face to face with my vulva at a younger age, I was like, oh my gosh, like what is all of this? So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown on your vulva. So starting off on top, we have the clitoris. So on this model, it's just this yellow speck. Realistically, it's a much larger structure, but you don't see much from the external view. So if you look at the picture on the screen, this is actually how big the structure is, which might be shocking to a lot of people. And then over top, um, it might be hard to see, but we actually have like a clitoral hood that goes over the structure. So in instances that we are sexually aroused, that hood will retract so that there's more surface area showing. Next, we're gonna talk about um, the first opening here. So we have our urethra. So if you didn't know, it's okay if you didn't, we have, um, we have different holes, one for reproduction, one for urine, um, and then we obviously have our anus, but that's not actually part of the vulva. So anyway, the first hole here, is where a urine is going to come out of the body. Um, and then the larger hole just below is going to be the vaginal opening. So the vagina is actually a muscular canal. Um, and if you were to look at your own vulva, then you would be able to see kind of, if you go up further from there, the smaller hole or opening is going to be the urethra. Um, and then we do have the, you've probably heard of the labia. There's actually um, two different structures. There's the labia majora and then the labia minora. So the smaller or the closer um, to midline is going to be the minora and then the outer um, or further away is going to be the majora. Um, and so what you see if you are looking at um, your lady parts from just relaxed position that you're going to see the labia majora. But if you were to kind of open that up, then you would see the smaller set of labia, the labia minora. So yes, there's two different sets that might be news to you. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the space from the vagina to the anus. So like I said, we don't count the anus as part of the vulva, um, but the perineum is going to be that space in between. So kind of here up and then enclosed by the labia is all considered the vulva. So if people are ever like, oh, there's a picture of your vagina, it's actually the vulva that you're looking at. The vagina is gonna be that internal canal. Anyway, just to know the correct terminology, but that is, that's the vulva, everyone. So she's not scary, I promise. And in the next video, I'll talk about how to perform a self-exam um, and what to look for. As a pelvic PT, we look for, you know, all of the external, structures making sure tissue is healthy that there's no restrictions as well as we are feeling internally 
but it's important to know what's healthy. So if you go into a pelvic PT, you kind of know what to expect, maybe what they're looking at, which they'll tell you. But if they're like, oh, like all your tissues healthy, going home and being able to kind of look yourself, knowing this is what healthy tissue looks like, so that as you do like your monthly checks, if there are changes, you have a baseline. Um, if you don't check, you'll never know like what normal is and a big way we can prevent any, um, you know, cancer's disease. If we can spot things early, that's awesome.